There's no one inside! Please let me go home! Please! I have to go to work! I have to go to work, sir! What the hell? The f*** are you doing? Oh my god, sir! Oh my god. Wait, 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 Welcome back to my channel and to another reaction video. As you saw from the thumbnail, we're going to be doing another police body cam video because you guys love these and I love doing them. So let's get right into this one. So this one is entitled, Why You Shouldn't Call 911 to Scare Your Boyfriend. <laughs> I can only imagine what this is going to entail, but I'm excited to watch it because we don't like when people do false reports, right? We don't like when people try to scare their significant others by lying to police. So watching them get caught is going to be fun. This video has 7.4 million views, which is insane. And this is from the YouTube page, Law, I'm sorry, Lens of Law Police Body Cam videos. All right, so without further ado, let's just get right into this because we don't got time. We don't got time. Let's watch this. I'm excited. <laughs> On March 19th, 2023 in Marshfield, Wisconsin, a distressing 911 call was received from a female urgently requesting an officer's assistance but refusing to provide further information. The call was accompanied by the sounds of a male shouting in the background. In response, Officers were promptly dispatched to the location traced through the ping of the female's cell phone. Those damn pings. <laughs> I think it's here. Technology. Police department! Police department, open the door! She's probably pooping in her pants right now. Oh no, they're here. Hey, this is Officer Clash, Marshall Police Department, calling you. What's going on? Well, we got a call from this number stating, okay, well, what uh, what apartment are you guys in? Well, we're trying to, we, we just want to make sure everything's okay, all right? So we just got to check out the room. Okay. Well, how would you know we're knocking on the door? We're not leaving, come to the door. Better open up, girl. Open the door. Oh. What's going on? I have to go to work. Mm -hmm. No, I have to go to work. Okay. I'm not willing to be late for work. Okay, what's going on? I have to. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. I have to go to work. I don't even know why you guys are here. Get away. Because you called him? Phil, I want the chief of police here. Okay. Whoever the supervisor is, I want here. Okay, he's coming. Okay, what I time? have to go to work. I don't have time for this, sir. I have so, to go to work. So you called her. No, I didn't. I don't. Okay, pause for a second. I'm sorry, but her, she's like on level 20, not even on level 10. She's on level 20. She pops up in the door. She's frantic. I gotta go to work. I gotta go to work. I gotta go to work. Okay, so why would you call the police department then and frantically say that you're in danger if you have to go to work and nothing's wrong? Smells like a very toxic relationship to me. And the fact that she's on this level... <laughs> Like, if you want to defuse the situation, wouldn't you open a door and say, hey, officers, everything's fine. I, will, I got into an argument, and I probably shouldn't have called, but I was just frustrated. But everything's okay, I promise. Like, my boyfriend's in the house. We're good. Like, if you approach that way, the officers see that you're okay, they're going to leave. But doing this, they're going to stay. I did it. I don't know who called you. Okay, I did what's, call what's your, you. What's your phone number? Start with that. 603 -85 I'm so, from I'm from New Hampshire. Well, I'm from Massachusetts originally. Okay, so who's in the apartment with you? Me. Okay, who else? Me. Because there's someone else. I have to get ready, sir. Okay. I have to go to work. She's lying. I have to go to work. We got a call. Hello. Hi. Oh. Okay. So that's <laughs> the number that called nine one one. I actually have, I actually have two different numbers. On that's the, the number that called nine one one. Oh, you're yeah, right. It was. They needed some help. Okay. So I did. Why. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So she says that the phone is not her, that that the number is not hers. She don't know who called the police. It wasn't her. And then the officer, this guy, who is the MVP of this video so far, decides to call her on the number that she called from. <laughs> and then she picks up and is like, hello? And he's like, hello. <laughs> and immediately she's like, oh, uh, well, uh, uh. She 
she's not bright, obviously. She's she's not bright. That was epic. That was so... Fe- and, and his smirk before he even called is the funniest part of it all. Because he knew she was lying. He's like, all right. Let her keep talking. Let's call her. Wow. That was epic. That was freaking epic. I have to go to work, y'all. I have to go to work. I have to go to work. I have to go to work. I'm not talking to you. I'm not speaking. I think she has to go to work. I have to go to work. Who else is inside? Okay. I have to go to work. You guys are going to cause me to lose my job. Please let me go to work. There's no one inside. Please let me go home. Please. I have to go to work. I have to go to work, sir. What the hell? Oh, my God. Stop. Get the away from you open the door like that? Officer! I can't breathe! You just gassed my boyfriend for no reason! You need to, you need to calm down! He says, no, I can't breathe! No! You're gonna go I can't! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, she is loca. She's nuts. Oh my god! I can't believe it! I can't believe this! You can't believe it. You created it. You did this. Tighten that one when she just pulled oh, one second. I'm gonna lose my apartment! No, you are, you are Fuck yelling! Fuck you! Fuck you! Wow. I started arguing and then the police got his fault. I didn't even know. What did you do with it? Brandon, your first name, right? Yes. Did he not know that the officers were, in, were outside the house? Did he not know? Can we, can we sit you up? Can you take the taser out of my leg, yeah. please? Yeah, we, we want to sit you up though so you're not laying on it, okay? Guys, I didn't do anything wrong. But you came out tense yeah, up at us, man. You can't you be can't doing come that. Out with your fist I didn't leave my apartment. I did not leave my apartment. You did, but you can't come out trying to fight us. He just lost his job. All right. He just lost his job. I can't afford to lose my job. Please let me. So you call the cops on him falsely. Please. That makes sense. Guys, please. Please. I'm going to lose my job. You're going to jail, sweetheart. <laughs> Forget about the job. Please, I'm not gonna run. Why would you guys hate me? I wasn't running. Okay, listen. You called 911. Just listen, all right? All right. You I was... called 911 because he was because she was being a douchebag. I was just trying to threaten him with the fucking cops. Okay, that's inappropriate. That was it. Wow. I understand that, but okay. I wasn't. He wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything. Okay. Hold up a second. So she admits. She admits that the only reason why she called the police was because he was being a quote douchebag, and she wanted to teach him a lesson. Looks like the lesson's on you. Because now your boyfriend has a taser in his leg, your baby's probably traumatized in the bathroom, and you're in handcuffs in the back of a police car. About to go to jail. Talking about, I'm going to be late for work. You ain't going to work. <laughs> what an idiot. She is, she is an idiot. First class idiot. You got every police officer over here because we thought someone was being A, murdered, beat up, yeah. And no, I'm fine. You guys did all of this. He up. thought that you were hurting me. Of course, he came out here. Waste of resources. Okay, you called 911. You just him. Yeah. He wasn't doing anything. Okay. She can go on the car. No, please. Right. I have to put your legs inside. Sir, I have put to your legs inside. I'm trying to talk to you like a normal person. You talking this high? It's not going to change anything. Shut up. Put your legs inside the vehicle. Please talk to no. me. No, put your legs inside the vehicle right now. Can you please talk to me? No, put your legs Can you put the window down? We can roll the window can down. Can I please be in the know? I want to know what's happening. Right. Can, I please, I have, can I be in the know? I have... I, the no is, you're going to jail. First. That's the no. Officer, first of I'm all. Under, I'm going to jail? No, you're not going to jail. You're under arrest right now. I, I have to work at noon, guys. I can't afford to lose my job. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have called 911 and... I didn't do anything, sir. Yes, you did. So I'm going right. to lose the work at noon. Put your leg in. Put your leg in. Oh my gosh, she's unbearable. <laughs> What's going on right now? Put your, 
Put your leg down, please. Put your leg in the car. Please put the window down a little bit. Put your leg in the car. Oh my it's just a little bit. I feel so bad for her boyfriend. I can't even imagine what he goes through on a, on a daily basis. Okay. Nice I'm, gonna, to see you I'm gonna take care of you here, buddy. I uh, I hope there's not gonna be anything stupid from this. You know, nobody's nobody's hurt. I don't feel like I don't. I'm not gonna make paperwork out of it. So if you need needle nose, I have needle nose in the cabinet. Please, put the I'll down. put the window down. Like at least the boyfriend's calm and sensible. I need to know what's going on. She's a nut job. All right, you're being arrested for. One, disorderly conduct. Two, resisting an officer. I wasn't resisting, Three, sir. That, I have to go to work at noon. Please. That is resisting an officer. Sir, I have to go to work at noon. And three, for obstructing an officer by filing a false police report, yep. which caused us. Hey, he wasn't. I called the police because he was yelling. Okay. You you told me that you just made that up. No, I told you he was that, yelling. That he's being a douchebag. Yeah, sir, that, I can't afford to lose my job. I'm sorry about that. So do I have to go down to the station? You're going to come down to the station right now, yeah. Can, please, can you bring me back now? I'm trying to be back before work, please. <laughs> no. You ain't going to work, sweetheart. So is she going to be held? We don't know yet. You just I screamed in my face. I'm sorry. I have a baby. Have she a squealed in your face. <laughs> no. In there. In there? Yes, sir. I have to go to work. Okay. Please, I and have we'll... to go to work. Please. So who's going to watch the baby? I want to call out. I'll call out. I just have to lift my baby. Please now she'll call out. <laughs> First is I have to go to work. Now it's I'll call out. We're gonna go do that at the police department. Okay, well can we go now? I have to work. You want to call them and just let them know you're gonna be late? I can't. I'm the one that opens. Well, I'm sorry, but that's not <laughs> gonna happen right at this exact moment. Oops. Okay, well yeah, can I please call them? I have everything's in my phone. Okay. Well, we'll have to go get that in a second here. Sir, what's going on with my boyfriend? I don't know. I'm out here talking to you. Do you think I know? Okay, your decision's got you here. My decision? I didn't do anything. The officer's goals. He's like, shut up. I didn't do anything besides cook bacon and sausages for us. What part of cooking has you stepping through a door with your fist raised at police? We have to work through what happened to make sure that nothing else happened. All right? Oh and God. we're not going to rush this because you're on a time schedule. Sir, Hello. please. Nothing happened. He was yelling and I called the cops and that is it. Okay. You were screaming that... That you guys just look for any we need to get there. reason to arrest me. I don't get it. I don't even know. Oh, my lord. I'm not telling you. Okay, well, then that's another reason we're not gonna let you go. Then, <laughs> victimhood 101 bag, and that she wanted him to get scared. Yep, that's it, basically what he said obstructing, disorderly conduct, and mm -hmm. resisting, in my opinion. Yeah, so when she started screaming like she's being right now, he came through the door like we were hurting. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. we were hurting yeah. her. Just up, ready to go. Does he need to go to jail over this? He's... Oh my lord. There's a baby in the room in there? Yep. In the, uh, okay, in the so, so if he's rational and capable, yeah. let's leave him there based on the circumstances. Okay. Are you going to stay calm? Yes, I promise. Okay. She I, need you, I need you to stay calm and cooperative at this point, all right? I'm going to have Officer Fox unhandcuff you. See what happens when you cooperate? They cheat with respect. But when you act like her, a nut job, what is your name? Sir, I'm not you go to jail. I have to go to work. Okay, what is your name? I have to go to work. I'm asking you what your name is. Why? So I can address you. Shakira. Okay, is that your name? Shakira. Call me Shakira. Shakira what? Shakira Flabbergasted. Shakira Flabbergasted. Okay. Do you have any mental illnesses that I need to be concerned oh. about? Oh yeah, she does. <laughs> uh, can someone let me call my work, please? Not, not at this time. I cannot afford to lose my job, please. Please. Can I please call my work? Not at this time, I told Why? you that. Because you're under arrest. Sir, can you call them for me? All you have to do is go on my phone. I don't have your phone with you. And I, and I wasn't lying earlier. I had two different numbers on one phone. I have an e-SIM e card and a regular SIM card. I was not lying to you guys. I'm going to lose my job. I don't know what to tell you. Sir, please do No, your actions are way inappropriate. Yep. And your neighbors don't have to put up with this. Sir, I just want to make sure I don't lose my job. I don't know what to tell you. I will call them. Why would you tease him? He wasn't doing anything wrong. You guys are so fucking trigger happy. Oh, all cops deserve to get shot. Okay. Fucking tease my fucking husband. All cops.
cops deserve to get shot. It's six of you. You guys gonna bum rush them? You fucking loser. She's nuts. <laughs> Bring me to the hospital. For what? Bring me to the hospital. For what? Bring me to the hospital. I want to kill myself, and I feel like I want to kill myself. Bring me to the hospital. Okay. Duly noted. Bring me to the hospital. I want to kill myself. I'm having thoughts of suicide. Bring me to the hospital. Bring me to the hospital. I'm having thoughts of suicide. I want to kill myself. I'd like to talk to an officer. Okay. What would you like to talk about? That poor baby. That poor baby and that poor boyfriend. Jail, so really, yep. Wait, what is he doing then? We're still working through that, but wait, why am I going to jail? I told you that. Already. Can I just get bailed out? No, wait, I'm going to jail for yeah. real. Wait, why? I'm going to sleep in a prison. So oh. Why am I getting arrested for disorderly conduct, obstructing an officer? He's not getting arrested? Nope, but you are. But so what about my baby? We'll take care of the baby. Oh my god, you're gonna take my baby? I'm not gonna take your baby. We, did I say that? No, I did not say that at all. Okay. Why can't I just get bailed out? Because in in. Oh my god! Oh my god! Please, sir! Please, no! Please. I'll be 1095. It's so PD please. beginning is 74990. 74990. Yeah, she is unbearable. What's going on with my baby? Is he getting arrested? Uh, or why am I getting arrested? Because you created a giant disturbance here. I didn't do anything. I didn't know that I was resisting. I was just trying to see if he was okay, sir. Please don't do this. I will swear to God, I will. Yeah, sure you will. No part of your actions have sir, caused me to believe you. I'm trying to talk to you like a normal person right now, sir, please. Oh, now? You identified yourself. My birthday is Taylor. My birthday is Taylor. Also, you're not Shakira? My social security number is... Please, sir, don't arrest me, please. I guess I'm already arrested. Please. You are arrested, yes. I only called because I was trying to scare him into not yelling at me anymore. Mm, yeah. He's the yeller, sure. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know why I'm the one getting arrested. Because of your behavior is after it. No. Please don't arrest me. You are arrested right now. Okay, well please don't let me stay over the night. I promise my actions will change. I, I'm not seeing a significant change in your behavior. At all. I'm sorry, I'll stop. I'm sorry. Just take a couple of breaths. We'll please. talk. Hey, just take it. No, I don't. You're, you're not listening. Take a couple breaths, and we'll talk when we're at the PD. Just breathe for a couple minutes. That's all I'm asking you to do. Yeah, what a nightmare she is. Okay, we're gonna step out of the car. We're gonna go in my booking area, and you have a seat. All right. Officer, I really nope. don't want to please. I know it all. I was going for rides. I didn't know that I was resisting the risk. Okay. Oh man. I'm I wanted to know what happened. No one did give us an update. Like, like they'll tell us, like, she got charged with this, or she got charged with that, or she has a court date, but nothing. Wow. Talk about nut job. But I love the fact that she called the cops on him to scare him, and at the end of the day, she's going to jail, and he's not. Love when justice takes place. And the fact that she, first of all, lied about everything, exaggerated everything is a complete raging nut job in the video from start to finish and then has the nerve to ask repeatedly why am i getting arrested what's happening i don't understand how do you not understand how you got here how yeah i think cps needs to be um in that house because she is not fit to be anybody's mother end of story i can't even imagine what that poor baby has to go through with a woman like that and the boyfriend like why why would you stay with someone like that? Why would you choose to be in that type of relationship? I, I, what do you get out of that? What do you get out of that craziness? I could never. I could never. Okay, I will love you from a distance, from all the way down there, but you ain't staying with me. I'm not dealing with your craziness 24-7. And I guarantee you, she's probably like this all the time. All the time. Just the first time she got caught on the camera. Wow. What would you guys do in that situation? I'm curious. Because if I were him, I would be packing up my bags calling uh, the courts and being like, I want full custody <laughs> and I want to leave this nut job ASAP. She's crazy. I can't even wrap my head around what I just watched. Like, I, like at some point I was like, is this real? Like, is this really happening right now? Did he really run out? The boyfriend run out with his fist up. What's going on? What's going on? They tase him. She's screaming. She's yelling. And I'm curious as to wouldn't the boyfriend have known that the cops were outside when they called and they had a conversation with her. Like, where was he when she was having that conversation? Like, he must have known that she was stepping outside for a reason. So I don't understand why he would, you know, run outside with his fist 
to fight the police. Like, you, you, you're going to lose, dude. <laughs> you will always lose if you try to fight the police. End of story. Yeah, there's just so many red flags about the situation, this relationship. I can only assume she got cited for f placing a false report. She has to go to court, pay a fine, I'm assuming. I would love for her to get jail time, like real jail time, because she is a crazy person. And I guarantee you this isn't the first time that she's done this, that she's wasted police resources on lies. Like, she's the kind of person that gives other women a bad name. Like, she's the kind of woman that will accuse a man of S.A., knowing that he didn't do anything, but I'm gonna teach him a lesson. I'm gonna teach him a lesson. This is exactly why I can't stand the saying, believe all women, because there are women like this. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and let me know if you wanna see me do more police body cam reaction videos. I am working on a true crime video. I haven't done one of those in a long time. Those take me a little bit longer to do because I gotta do a lot of research, I gotta do a lot of editing, and it's just more timely. But I am working on one and it'll be out hopefully sometime this month. So stay tuned for that. But let me know if you want to see me do more crime-based videos because you always know I'm down. If you enjoy my content, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit my notification bell so you know when I post a brand new video. I'm also available on all social media platforms under Curly Boy Chuck. Until next time, peace.